Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do the highly requested step-by-step -step tutorial on how I take my notes from lectures and turn them into Anki cards. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you the insider tip on how to study Anki cards on your phone so that you don't have to pay for the app. So for those of you who don't know, what is Anki? Anki is a popular computer-based flashcard program that basically uses space repetition to help you learn more effectively. It's very popular amongst medical students as we have to learn large amounts of information at a short period of time. With Anki, you can create your own cards or you can use pre-made decks that you can download onto your Anki system. A lot of students use the Onking decks when studying for step one, as it has Pathoma, Sketchy, and all of those pre-made for you. And then what the program does is it automatically adjusts how often you need to revise these cards based on how well you know them. So let's jump in to the video. But before we start, these are my settings for Anki. So what I'll do is I'm going to link down below the tutorials that I watched in order to set up my Anki, but you can also just screenshot my settings and then put them on your Anki. So this is the one that I use for when I'm cramming, i.e. if I have like five days left before the exam, I use these settings. So I'm just gonna show you these settings here. Again, screenshot them and put them on your Anki. And then the one that I use for general medical school is this one. And these are the settings that you can screenshot. Perfect. And then I also want to show you my add-ons. These are all the add-ons that I have. And I will also link down below the videos that I use for the add-ons. The main ones that I use are the image occlusion as well as the closed deletion. Those are the two that I use the most of, but the rest of them are also, they really help. So add these add-ons to your Anki as well. So before we start, a quick disclaimer, I do not use Anki like the Anki bros in medical school. After five years of medical school, I would have thousands upon thousands of revision cards every day, and that just makes my anxiety shoot sky high. So in order to protect my mental health, I use Anki as a supplementary tool to my other study methods, and I use them mainly when I need to have information that I should be able to recall immediately. I will use Anki to make flashcards of information that I often tend to forget or information that is really important for me to revise before the exam. And what I do once my cards have been made is about equal to before the exam, I then start going through the cards. But this is just what works for me. You guys are more than welcome to use Anki as the algorithm suggests it for you. If you're interested in a full tutorial of how I study for exams and class tests, comment down below and I'll definitely make a full in-depth step-by-step tutorial for you. So step one is to open the file that you are interested in. So I'm going to be doing physiology of behavior, which is one of my new subjects that I've started and I need to summarize the lecture. Then what I do is I split my screen so that I can have Anki on the one side and my notes on the other. This just makes it easier for summarizing so I'm not switching back and forth between the screens. So first things first, what you wanna do is you wanna create a new deck. So you're gonna say create deck and I'm gonna enable it physiology of behavior. Okay. So then you'll see I have a new deck. Then I'm gonna click inside the deck and I'm gonna say add. Now you start making your Anki cards. So, for example, if I reach a dualism and monomer, I should probably know the definition of that. So there's two ways that you can make this. You can either make a basic card where you put the dualism on the front. So what I'm going to do is I will choose the basic. So you go kick the type and then you choose basic, whichever one really. So you choose basic, choose, and then I will highlight this text. I will <laughs> I highlight the text like this and then I control C or if you have a MacBook, command C and then I paste it, so command V or control V and then you can put dualism on the front and then the definition on the back, add. And then what this card will look like is when you study it, you will have the definition, so it will say dualism and then you show the answer and it says, is the belief in the dual nature of reality? So then you can also um, say how hard you found it. If you remembered it, you say easy. If you didn't, you say again. And then Anki will feed it into the rhythm. So let's make another card. 
So the other type of card that I like making is closed deletions. I prefer them to the basic cards. So closed deletion, basically what it is, is it will remove a section of the thing that you need to guess. So for example, let's say monon monism. Monism? Let's say the next one is monism. Okay, so monism, I would then highlight this and then I would say command shift C or control shift C, depending on what your computer is. And it'll say, is it believed that everything? So basically everything that's in the brackets will be blanked out on your card and then the rest you'll be able to read. So then I'll say add. Now, if we want to look at what this card will look like, it will come up as blank is a belief that everything in the universe consists of matter and energy and that the mind is a phenomenon, blah, 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 blah. Then when you say show answer, the answer is monism. So I mainly use closed deletion. It's my favorite form of studying because um, you don't really need to be able to recall these long sentences most of the time. If you're enjoying this video so far, please hit the like and subscribe button down below. It really helps out my channel. So now let's do my other favorite type, which is image occlusion. So I'm going to look for a slide that would work for image occlusion. Okay, so let's look at the neuron. Okay, so I'm going to say add. I'm going to choose image occlusion. Okay, and image occlusion is a game changer when you're studying anatomy. Basically, what it does is it allows you to put little text box over text that you want to block out that you would then need to guess. So when I was studying anatomy, I used image occlusion for everything. And then I'm going to say command C as always. And then I'm going to click the image occlusion button here. And then you'll see that image has originally already populated into the um, editing software. Then what I do is I draw little boxes around the words or labels that I need to know. So we got the node of Randia, the axon terminal, Schwann cell myelin sheath and axon okay cool then you can either hide one guess one so when the picture comes up it will have all the other labels except one or you can do hard all guess one i prefer doing that one so that i can like test myself even further but it depends on which one you want to do then let's see what it would look like so let's say study now and then you see how it comes up with just this image but the names have been blocked out so for example we take a look here and what is this one it is the node of ranvia and then that's how you make your image occlusion cards comment down below if you have any anki tips and tricks that i should know about so that i can use them in my future anki studying sessions okay now that we're done with making our anki cards let's see how we would review them so there's two options one you can literally just click on thing and say study now and it will show you the cards that you need to review so for example we've got all of these the other way is to study them is to do a custom study so i normally do the custom study when i have a lot of cards that i want to get through because anki hides or buries cards if you know them so for example before an exam i will do a custom study session so that i know i'm revising every single one of my cards. So what you do is you go to custom study you click study by state or tag and then you can do all review cards in random order and then choose tags if you use if you use tags and then all of your study cards that you need to review will be in the system now for the bonus tip here is how you can use your Anki cards on your phone for free without having to download the app if you want to go onto your Anki application on your computer and click sync then you want to go onto your browser and register an Anki web account by logging in or signing up. Then using your phone browser, log into your Anki web account and your card should be synced to this account. You can now access all your Anki cards for free on your phone and study on the go. If you have any friends who are also battling with Anki, send them this video to help them out. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I really hope that it provided some value to you. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. I will definitely get back to them. But for now, happy studying.